Okay, so I put all this emphasis on Grignards. What about organolithium complexes? Actually, they will do the same reaction as Grignards. So let's say we had this Grignard reacted with a formaldehyde plus this organolithium complex reacted with the same formaldehyde. In both cases, we're going to start out with diethyl ether, and we're going to finish with an acid workup. What's going to happen? Well, the Grignard here, you should be able to predict, is going to form primary ion call. The organolithium, in this case, is going to do the exact same reaction. So any reaction you can do with a Grignard, you're pretty much going to be able to do with an organolithium. So why pick one over the other? Well, one may just be practicality. You may have magnesium in the lab, but not lithium. The thing about organolithium complexes is that they're far more reactive. So this is kind of the challenge here. Grignards are a bit easier to control, but your organolithiums are far more aggressive in terms of their reactions. So basically, they're going to accomplish the same thing, but your major limitations here are how aggressive do you want the reaction to be, and also practically what type of, re what type of reagents do you have on hand. But in terms of making alcohols from organocopper, organolithiums versus Grignards, it's the same idea. If you want to make a primary, work with formaldehyde. If you want to make a secondary, work with an aldehyde. If you want to make a tertiary, work with a ketone. It's going to give you the same answers.